So in this video we are going to talk about how we can create a realistic fog using the blender. So hello everyone my name is Deepak and welcome back to my channel. So today's video we are going to talk about how we can create a realistic fog using the blender and basically in this video I'm going to use one add-on that's name is all tap easy fog basically and that's very easy and cool tool and add-on as well so I thought I should uh, share with you. And in this video, I'm going to talk about each and everything about that add-on, how you can use it, how you can install it and how it's work basically and what kind of things we have to manage to like creating the fog using uh, this add-on basically. So now without any further delay, let's get started the tutorial. So right now on my screen, you can see guys, this is the fog which is we have created with the help of this add-on basically. And if you want to know that how to install that add-on basically, you will get the um, download link into the description from there you can download it. And after that, you have to just go to your edit preference i'll just show you just go to edit preference and go to your add-on section directly and just click on this little icon and click on the install from the disk and after that you have to just install that zip and you will able to see that add-on into your here you can see on the sidebar basically all right so now first of all we'll talk about the all the feature of this add-on then we'll uh, come into one scene and we'll create a fog with the help of this add-on basically so what i'm going to do i'm just going to switch into my normal scene here you can see this is my normal scene and uh, right now and uh, there is no uh, lighting but first of all i'll switch into the my render view and i'll change the render as a ev2 cycle and i'll just use the gpu all right and i'll just add one uh, sdri with the help of the what we can say blender kit add-on so i'll just use this sdri right now okay everything is looking good to go for me i'll just uh, make this sdri transparent so we can see fog easily yeah all set now here you can see guys if you just hit n on your keyboard and you will see this add-on that name is all type easy fog 2 basically so first of all it will ask you like what kind of uh, fog you need volume or vdv VDB basically the, the, there will be the file that is K come from the uh, like Houdini and other simulation software basically and volume you will get uh, the whole volume surface and uh, first of all we'll just click the volume one and here you can see and there is a one category it is called like all if you want to like separate the category we have a four type of category as well but first of all here you can see if you just want to see the preview so here you can see this is the preview of the fog what it will look like basically so i'm just going to click it and here you can see we have a lots of fog here so if you want to like add any kind of desirable fog which is like from this list basically what you have to do you have to just click that fog and then you have to just click it fog it up and it will automatically create one uh, what we can say uh, volume and here you can see we have a fog into our scene what i will do basically i'm just gonna use the denoise so we can see better first of all now when you, you will just click the pocket button we have, we will get some options here you can see we have a density if you want to increase the density you can increase the density if you want to lower the density you can lower density as well like you can also change the color of this fog if you not like by chance so you can just change from it here if you want to do it and also i'm just going to little bit zoom yeah something like that and also like if you want to add any kind of noise scale speed roughness anything you want to do that you can just do it from here basically this is totally custo uh, customizable like fog one is not that much customizable but now this is very customizable and it is very handy to use it and also mapping is there so if you want to like scale this and if you want to like uh, adjust the shape according to your uh, uh, scene basically so you can do it and after that you can just do the mapping so you will get of your desirable result as well so this is the basically use case of this add-on now we'll just come into the scene basically so right now here you can see we have one scene and this is the isometric church so i'm just going to delete this fog from here and uh, now i'll just switch you yeah it does look something like that i'll just delete this one as well okay so now right now there is no fog here you can see on my screen there is no fog now we'll just choose any kind of fog here and you can also use uh, choose the animated fog as well here you can see we have a animated fog as also here okay but right now i'll just use a different fog like i'll just use the this one basically ground fog and i'll just click the fog it up and here we go guys here you can see we have a fog into our scene now i'm just going to scale this and here we go this is look awesome my wow that's look great 
okay i'm just going to enable the denoise so we can see better here yeah so how cool it is by the way that's very easy things to add the fog you into your scene and like you can change the color as well now i'm just going to add some animated fog so you can see better basically so right now i'm just going to change uh, this fog uh, into the like wait a second i'll just use the this one okay this is like magic puff i'm just going to add it because it will uh, like uh, go with this scene as well the lighting and everything the scene uh, looking very nice i'm just going to add it oh here we go guys how cool it is looking by the way you can just add here oh my god awesome see it is look like the thing is coming from this uh, door and look awesome by the way i'm just going to hide everything we can see the preview which is look awesome by the way so guys uh, this is the add on you can download from the blender market and uh, the link in the description you will get it from there and one more thing guys this is very cool add on and i thought you should uh, like use this and it will definitely enhance your scene and give the little liveliness into your scene as well right now you can see it is look awesome by the way so i hope you enjoy this uh, tutorial and i just made tutorial because i thought it is very uh, easy and cool thing so i should have make the tutorial for you as well so i hope guys you enjoy this tutorial and learn something new today so right now i just want to say that thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have suggestion please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care stay home guys and love you all